Guess who's back with another chair unboxing? That's right. Vertigear sponsored this video for us to talk about their SL5800, which is part of their new 800 series lineup that they just announced. We're gonna start by just diving in. We're just gonna run through this and just hope for the best. Short Circuit pretty much is Friend Circuit. I mean, we're all here, we're all hanging out. We're pretty much all hosting this video together. So part of what Vertigear advertises on their site is that this should be a very simple installation. So we'll be the judge of that. So it looks like Vertigear sent us their carbon black colorway, which is one of six different color variants that they offer for this model. We're working with the SL5800, which I got because I'm a short boy. So the SL5800 is rated for people up to six feet tall and a weight limit of up to 250 pounds. And they've got three other models. They've got one on the SL line and two on the PL line, just for different body shapes and sizes. So far, I would say this is a pretty standard unboxing experience. Okay, we got the seat. And I think the rest of the box is just packaging at this point. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I don't wanna hype things up too much. But the biggest thing about building chairs is how easy is it really to build? And this accessory box holds the key, holds the answer to how difficult or easy this is gonna be. Okay. Is this instructions? Boy, oh, that's nice. I like this. It's so nice when they just have the instructions right there. You got them, you're good to go, right? Let's make sure we have everything. Gear, what's that? Pet hair remover? Bro, what? That's sick. That's interesting. Don't see that on a lot of other chairs. This is how I clean my house. Just kinda never existed. Guys, this is a video. This is short circuit. We're trying to test the important things here. Somebody got any pet hair on them? Well, it's not pet hair, but it's close. Yo, that's pretty good. I really like the layout of the instructions. So it's got all the different languages and the actual images on the same page, which is really cool. A lot of instruction manuals will have like different pages for different languages. You gotta kind of flip through them because English is in the middle and you're trying to find it and stuff. It's just nice having everything on one page. One thing that's nice about video is that viewers don't get to see how long it takes me to build these chairs sometimes. I do have a little piece of constructive feedback and it's that they don't have a close up of how this is supposed to line up and I'm kind of blind. That's not their fault though. Oh yeah, of course, <laughs> I can see it. I love to sit. Don't stand up for what you believe in. Don't, uh, ooh, <laughs> sit down for what you believe in. You shouldn't even have to stand for what you believe in. You should be able to sit and believe in it. Just like I believe in putting this chair together. These are really easy, the casters just slide in. Super straightforward. We're gonna flip it. There we go, and that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for... <laughs> Editor's note. Make sure I'm perfect. Everything I do is perfect. Whoa, whoa. I need my tool. My M8 tool. Ain't that right, mate? Dad jokes? My dad jokes have really ramped up since the last time I hosted one of these videos. I will say I do genuinely like the look of the M8 screws on the side here. A lot of other chairs have that metal bracket and you can kind of see it. This is nice and flush and it's just clean which is cool. Bam, and just like that, the chair is assembled. We just need to put a pillow on it and it is complete. Look at that. Now that we've got the chair built, we're gonna install the optional RGB LED upgrade kit, which costs $229.99 you can get with your chair. And the reason that you might wanna get it with your chair is that it connects wirelessly to your computer. You can sync up audio, gaming, all sorts of different features, and you can even customize it. We've actually got this thing customized with our logo. You'll see shortly. Let's actually unbox this thing first. Whoa, what the heck? LTTstore.com, baby. That's where you get this screwdriver. Available for back order now. We just had to grab a Torx bit for the screwdriver to remove the headrest here. So we'll get this off. The upgrade kit comes with the Torx bit and screwdriver, but of course we're using the LTT store one. <laughs> All right, and then this just, boop, goes on there. This goes on the other side. RGB, baby. Fantastic. Battery slot. Got four of these batteries right here, folks. Vertigear says that the battery should last up to 14 hours on a single charge. There's actually alternate ways to charge the batteries as well. So I'll show you. The way that we're gonna charge the batteries is with this magnetic up, battery charger. You can opt to have an external charging solution as well. Next step is getting this thing paired. Now that we've got everything installed, so we're gonna wheel the chair over here and we just need to install this fancy USB into where, where is the USB port on this thing? Oh, up top. Perfect. 
To enable pairing mode, press and long hold the power button for at least three seconds. Once the button is released, the LED lights will shine red, indicating the pairing mode is enabled. Blah, blah, blah. It's blue! We're paired! We did it. I'd like to thank my mom, my friends, my family, David, Bell, the viewers. The next step is to finally sit in this thing. I've been waiting for the last 20 minutes to do this. But first, a word from our sponsor. I just got you. I got you. Vertigear's the sponsor. This is a sponsor video. First, you got to do the caster test. You're going to need to give me some space, David. Back up, everybody. Somebody catch me. That's smooth. That's smooth. Oh, oh. Wide seat base, which I like. You've got room to kind of move around and shuffle. All right. This is very standard, the armrest here. Nope. Assuming four dimensional. LED. What? The LED is it's broken. Like it's not broken. No, guys, it's guys. It's not seated correctly. It's, no, it's totally it's fine. Guys, seated. Alex, take a seat. Give me your thoughts. <laughs> nice wiggle, nice wiggle. This material's really nice, actually. It's nice and cushiony. It is. Is there any adjustable lumbar support? No adjustable lumbar support. It's supposed to just guide your back into place. How's that doing for you? Uh, I would be in pain if I sat in this for too long. Fair. Um, these right here are not wide enough for my shoulders, so they're pushing my shoulder blades forward. Oh, you back. know what? Oh, how, tall, how tall are you? Uh, six feet. Six feet? You should try one of their other chairs. Need the bigger one? Yeah. Okay. This one's for me. <laughs> okay. So if you're shorter, it yeah. would be fine. Okay. Yeah, you bet. One of the most important things you should be thinking of when you're buying a gaming chair is how comfortable it is. Vertigear's lumbar support system is called Contour Max. And basically what it is, is four TPE support modules that help kind of ease your back into how you should sit for a prolonged period of time. I haven't tested this thing for too long, but at first sit, it's comfortable. I feel supported, which is good. And I don't have to adjust anything, which is really nice. I feel like a lot of people, when they get these chairs, they don't exactly understand how lumbar support is supposed to work. So they kind of just leave it or you don't have it at all. And this is just there, which is good. And that's why you're buying the specific model for your height and weight so that you're roughly going to fit into it. Another thing I noticed when I sat in this chair is that it's nice and cushy. And what that is, is memory foam. And what Vertigear has is eight hexagonal pillars that kind of adapt to the way that you're sitting on it so it can transfer airflow so it can keep you cool and supported at the same time. Next up, now that we've got the RGB configured here, we're gonna set it up with NZXT Cam, and then we're gonna start gaming. NZXT Cam is set up. We're just gonna configure the lighting. So it detected the chair head. We can control brightness. Ooh, there's 10 LEDs on each of these bad boys, I believe. Once you have NZXT Cam, it's easy. You just go to the lighting section, and then you've got this drop down here. It's got all these different modes. If you scroll down, you can sync it up with music. You can sync it up with your game. Let's start by syncing it up with music and playing some Crab Rave. Very nice. Cool. It's one way to sync it. You can also sync it up with your game, which we will do next. While we're waiting for Rainbow Six Siege to boot, we set it to sync up with the GPU temperature. We're looking pretty good right now. Ooh, Rainbow Six Siege, it's been so long. My back is feeling supported, I'll tell you that right now. I finally have the support in my life that I need. Gotta go in for the knife, gotta go in for the knife. Oh, I lost. It's close, bro. It's close. That's okay, that's okay. I felt supported though, that's nice, that's nice. So that's pretty much it for the RGB. If you don't like NZXT cam, this chair is also compatible with Signal RGB. And now we're gonna talk about something that we need to talk about. Gamers, they get a little warm, they get a little sweaty, and you don't want your chair to smell bad, okay? And Vertigear, they got you covered. You know how? Vertigear has their Hygen X technology, which uses coffee ground nanotechnology to prevent odors. And also their embroidery is silver lined, so it also prevents odors and moisture wicking and stuff like that. So it doesn't smell like coffee, but it doesn't smell bad. To validate this product, we need to get others in here to test it. And first is Artie. Official gamer. Official gamer. How much do you actually game? Do you game? I game a, a little bit. A little bit? A little okay, bit. okay. Yeah. This is the Vertigear SL5800. Alright. How is it? I feel, feel like I could game. <laughs> what do you sit on at home? Uh, I sit on like this cheap ergonomic office chair. Uh, cheap ergonomic office chair? You yeah. just call it ergonomic office chair? Is well, that how it was marketed? Yeah, no, that's <laughs> It has like a lumbar support, so it's ergonomic. Right? Okay, yeah. okay. That's the definition. Yes. Cool. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Hey, what do you think about RGB on your chair, though? 
I do Wireless like, RGB. I do like me some RGB. I'm not gonna lie. Sweet. You ever play Rainbow Six Siege? Uh, I played it once. Well, you're gonna play it twice. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna play it twice, bud. It's just supposed to be good vibes. And feel free to adjust the armrests and All stuff right. like that. It's got 4D armrests. It's got the waterfall. 4D? Yeah, four dimensional, bro. Wait. Sir, you're looking for rainbows right now. Yes. That's not what this game is about. This what game is about tactical performance. Just like this chair. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. So another thing that this chair has, you might notice that the base doesn't go out super far. It's got a waterfall edge. That's to prevent your legs from falling asleep when you're sitting too long. Oh. So how I never, tall are you? I never even thought about this. I'm five eight. Five eight. Okay, so we're close to the same height. Yeah. And how much do you weigh? <laughs> do you game on PC? I, I use my PC. Okay. I, no, I use my Mac. Okay. Okay. What are your thoughts on chairs? It's pretty comfortable. It got like the cushioning is pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Memory foam. Hey. What do you think of the casters? The caster? Yeah, move smooth. your chair around. Smooth. They're smooth. Yeah. I love Vertigear's casters. I'm not just saying have that. We used to have Vertigear chairs all throughout the office, and I love zooming around on them. Viewers, just go to Ikea and try those casters, and you'll know. Yeah. Next up for our testing, we have Sarah. The Sarah. Are you a gamer? No, yes. Well, do you sit in chairs? Yes, I do. Do you like comfortable chairs? I love comfortable chairs. Well, chairs. take a seat. Take a seat, my friend, and let me know your thoughts. And you can be honest. Wow, there's some cushioning here. Yeah, right? It, actually, it's kind of nice having this softness. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you I've know? heard this is the real test. Does nope. it do this? PewDiePie does that, actually. I didn't do that, actually. That's a good point. <laughs> the things yeah. that gamers don't think about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's got RGB in the headrest. Does it? It does. Uh, Who asked for that? <laughs> <laughs> it has good spinability. Yeah, spinability. Try uh, zipping around with the casters too. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. It's <laughs> <laughs> These 800 series chairs from Vertigear retail at $499.99 US, and the RGB upgrade kit is $229.99 US. So that's it for the Vertigear SL5800. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Vertigear for sponsoring this video. You can check this chair out, the link in the video description. And uh, we'll see you on the next chair unboxing. Or actually, we're gonna do a desk pretty quick with me and Dennis. Stay tuned.